Interested in uncovering historical artifacts buried at the edge of San Francisco? Well, you can be part of it. For the next four weeks, anyone interested can be involved in an archaeological dig before construction begins at Land's End. Patrick Cedillo shows us what is being found. It's kind of difficult sometimes for the public to get involved in these kinds of things, and uh, yet at the same time we keep them so secret at times that no one even knows they exist. At the farthest edge of San Francisco, a real-life treasure hunt happening now. From the 19th century. We're excavating uh, because there's a number of artifacts that are here that sort of iconize that period. These artifacts have been buried here since the 1890s. Remnants of an extinct 19th century fairground, complete with rides, popcorn stands and exhibits, a stone's throw from the ruins of Sutro Baths. One area was called the Cairo exhibit, and it was supposed to uh, sort of reflect what Egypt was like. And so a lot of uh, kiosks and buildings with uh, sort of onion-shaped domes and lots of floral rosettes. Leo Barker, the lead archaeologist for the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, is inviting the public to join him in uncovering what has been hidden for more than a hundred years. So we can figure out who the manufacturers were and what kinds of things were being used. Some old coins. So in the screen itself, there'll be all sorts of materials. Uh, the plate glass from the windows of the stands. A street sign that named the park is still in place and maintained, although it marks a street that no longer exists. If the public's interested, they're welcome to come and drop in just to watch or drop in to actually start shaking a screen with us. And uh, whatever they find in the screen is ours. It's not theirs, but they've participated in, in uh, keeping a little bit of the history of the city. In San Francisco, Patrick Cedillo, CBS 5.